All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation seven to the power of x is equal to 70. So before we start on our solution, let's notice that this is an exponential equation and x is an exponent, which is the variable we're solving for. So let's just try to plug in a number. Let's start with one. So we have seven to the power of one, and this is equal to seven. Now, let's go one higher. Let's go seven to the power of two. This is equal to 49. And now let's go one higher. Let's go seven to the power of three. This is equal to 349. So notice how we're trying to find what value of x to, that we should take the power of seven to equal 70 but even the number three is much results in a number much higher than 70 meaning the value of x is going to be a decimal somewhere in between two and three so now to actually solve for x my equation is seven to the power of x is equal to 70 and what i'm first going to do and what i recommend doing for any exponential equation such as this is taking the log on both sides. And the reason that you should do this is because now you can use the property log a to the power of b. I can move the speed to the front so I get b times log a. Log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. And the reason this property is so useful is because before x was an exponent and it's really hard to solve for x in its previous state but now i can move x to the front and it's going to be an actual term so now i get x times log 7 is equal to log 70. now log 70 is the same thing as log of 7 times 10. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 7 times 10 is going to equal log of 7 plus log of 10. So now from here, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by log 7 because we obviously want to isolate x so the only way to do that is to get rid of this log 7. So then these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log 7 plus log 10 over log 7 and I can rewrite this as log 7 over log 7 plus log 10 over log 7. Now log 7 and log 7 cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 7. And if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is actually equal to 1. So now I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 7. And this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation three to the power of x is equal to 15. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. So let me first start by rewriting my equation down here. So 3 to the power of x is equal to 15. And 15, I can rewrite this as 3 times 5. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log of 3 to the power of x equal to log of 
3 times 5. And if I have something in form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 3 to the power of x, this is equal to log of 3 plus log 5. And if I have something in form log a to the power of b, I can move the b to the front, so I get b times log a. So log 3 to the power of x, I can move this to the front, and I get x times log 3 is equal to log 3 plus log 5. So now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. So for my left-hand side, these two cancel out. And for my right-hand side, I get x is equal to log 3 plus log 5 over log 3. And this is the same thing as log 3 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3. So log 3 and log 3, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 5 over log 3. Now, log 5 is equal to 0 0.6990. And log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 1 plus 0 0.6990 over 0 0.4771. <clears throat> now, 0 0.6990 over 0 0.4771 is equal to... 1.4851 and 1 plus 1 1.4851 is equal to 2.4851 so this is my value of x now make sure to subscribe and leave a like and thank you bye